This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. The other day I did a video about World Backup Day, which is every March 31st. And when people think of backups, they usually think of backing up their computer or their phones or their laptops. But they hardly ever think about backing up their online data. And what I mean by online data is, for example, your Google account. What would happen if all of a sudden a hacker got a hold of your Google account and locked you out? You would lose everything. You would lose your Gmail, your photos, your Google Drive, your Google Sheets, everything. Or worse, what if Google decided that you violated some terms of service and they locked you out of your account forever and you were unable to access your Google Photos, your Gmail, everything? Your whole Google presence was just poof, gone, deleted. Well, there's something you can do to protect yourself from this, and it's called Google Takeout. And it's a totally free service that Google offers. What you want to do is go to google.com. In the search box, you're going to type in Google Takeout. Make sure the first link is takeout.google.com. You don't want to go to some third-party link pretending to be Google Takeout. Go ahead and click Google Takeout. Go ahead and sign in to your Gmail slash Google account. And this is what Google Takeout looks like. It's very simple to use. These are your options of all the different things on Google that you can back up. And you can see there's a lot of them. Your calendar, your Chrome bookmarks, your contacts, your Google Drive, your Google Fit data, your Google account data, your Google chat data, Google Finance if you use it for tracking stocks, Google Photos, Google Play Books if you buy books, Google Play Movies and TV, Google Play Store, Google Podcasts, which is sadly going away. Google Keep, which is a great note-taking application. Here's your Gmail, your Google Maps, including favorite locations that you've saved, all your Google Reminders. As you can see, it's just a, a gambit of, of data that Google has that you want to make sure that you download and back up. So what you can do is, right now, 54 or 55 is selected. You can go to the top and select everything. By default, it selects 54 of the 55 options. The only option it doesn't select for you is the access log activity, and that's because it contains a lot of logs that can be very large in size. So you can go ahead and just do the 54 or 55 unless you specifically want that. If you do want it, just go ahead and check it. And once you check it, what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to hit next step. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do. They can send you a download link via email. You can add it to your Google Drive. You got to make sure you have space. You can add it to Dropbox. If you use Dropbox, once again, make sure you have space. You can add it to your Microsoft OneDrive. Make sure you have space. And also, if you have a Box account, you can add it there as well. Make sure you have space. Sometimes it's easier to add it to one of those services. That way, you're not downloading huge files that can time out. And sometimes you have to re-download them when they do that. So if you can send it over to a service like Dropbox or OneDrive instead, that's easier to do, but you will have to authenticate your account information with them so Google Takeout can access those services. You can also pick the frequency. You can export once if you just want to do it on a whim, or you can have it export every two months for up to a year. Now, down here is the important part to remember. You can have zip or you can have TGZ and different file sizes. The problem is zip you cannot do a 50 gigabyte file size. You obviously want the bigger file size for each of your downloads. So that way there's less files for you to download in total. So what I do is I pick TGZ and I'm actually defaults to 50 gigabyte, which is the biggest size you can download. So each file will be 50 gigabytes and you hit create export. And that's it. And then it will say export one of six will start on April 2nd, 2024. It says one of six because I picked to do it every two months. And then you can cancel the scheduled exports or you can create another one. And what will happen is you'll receive a notification in your Gmail when the export's ready. And when it's ready, it's either going to be your Dropbox or your OneDrive if you pick those services, or you will log into your Google account into the takeout section and you will see your downloads listed and you can download them by clicking on them in your browser. It's really simple to use. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be more than glad to help you and walk you through it. Once again, this is Sean for Be Your Own Nerd. You can reach out to me on my website at beyourownnerd.com. I also have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every week. You can sign up for that there. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great tech day.